Hey everyone, so I am hoping you all are doing well. Oh my goodness, let me adjust these four. I know I've been at the same angle for the past few videos. I know I, I know this is just so lazy. So, anyways, I've been okay. Um, I've been cool. Um, I have been cool. Um, I just been into. Uh, my other hobby lately, which is, um, which I picked up, which is, uh, re reading. That's what I've been doing, getting back into reading and stuff. And it's a long lost love because I look, I used to read all the time when I was inside of high school and early college. And then when I got into college and I had to study all the time, I read less and now I'm reading more and been enjoying it. So. Yeah, hopefully the thing adjusted. So that's kind of where I've been at. So I've been using my free time to like read and stuff like that. Oh, Jesus, Elfie. So anyways, yeah, that is where I have been. And then, and then uh, you know, um, I've been trying to get back into uh, reborn YouTube and catch up and stuff. I mean, you know how it is. Um, sometimes you, sometimes I am consistent. Sometimes I'm not. The, but thanks for sticking with me and stuff. But who Jesus, man? These people be starting up. There's always some shit in this community. So this video is going may have some language because I'm just in one of those things where I just don't care and I. Maybe I'll have to see how this video goes. So sorry. Um, so you know, um, if y'all have kids, y'all may not want to watch this in front of them. But I ain't gonna tell y'all what y'all want to do in front of you, our kids. So I have Effie here. This is uh Zachy. You guys are all squished by chubby butt here. This is uh what's your name? Benji. And this is y'all know her as Gigi. Is she? I don't know what she look like on camera because my tripod is covering her up, but she she's dressed anyway, so I need you and you anyway, so get these out of, these two out of their Christmas outfits, so my goodness, um, I'm kind of bummed I won't be going to the Dolls or the World Expo but this year, but hey, I mean, hey, there's always next year, um, um, so yeah, that's always next year. So, I'm like around that time, I may have to get off of, off of re re on YouTube. <laughs> but hey, I, I'm going to feel better though, this summer. I mean, after I have my surgery and everything like that. Ben G, G right there in the green shirt's on sale, but he ain't going to, he got the pictures of him and that shirt, but he that shirt ain't going with him because that exact red shirt that's the that's my son's first Christmas shirt. So you know I, I don't get those people that like complain about like they buy 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 a doll and then they complain talking about oh well I'm bummed out because he didn't come the after in the picture and they get all mad and some people. I heard some people return the whole doll because they freaking didn't get the outfit in the picture. Like, okay, did you buy a doll or did you buy the outfit? Because, you know, you want to spend that much, how much you spent on a doll on the outfit, then crap. I mean, sometimes people just have pictures of a doll on their phone. They just, you know, from the past. But then some of the other pictures, like the details and stuff, are like, or like current pictures of what a doll looks like now, but but yeah, um, well, you know, like more current pictures. I hate this stuff. Okay, there. But yeah, I'm just dressing him up. But yeah, I, I may go ahead and update his list. Like, look, he ain't gonna come with that outfit. Okay, he'll come with a cute outfit, but you're paying for a, a doll, cause that is just crazy when people be doing that. I mean, now, I know how it is, though. I be wanting the outfit sometimes. Like, oh, like, oh, that's cute, but I have had dolls arrive without that outfit on. 
you know, like I, I was bummed, but I was like, no what? Oh well. And sometimes I would just ask, hey, does it come with the outfit? And they go like, no, then I like, no, I like the outfit. I'm like, okay, well, I just may ask where they get it from, or if not, I'll wear the outfit. There's always a, there's always another cute outfit that that comes around. So yeah, there is that. So, anyways, next part I need to talk about is um. You know, we need to support each other more in this community. We really do, because, you know what, there's, you know what, there's a lot attacking the reborn community. I mean, not only these uh, people who won't shut, who won't shut up about, about them buying fakes, are like, okay, well, y'all buy fakes, go ahead and buy fakes or ca counterfeits, because, I mean, I ain't, no one's controlling me with, what y'all are doing. I mean, do whatever the heck y'all want to do. Ain't nobody trying to control y'all or police y'all. Because I don't see nobody police them. I really don't see nobody because in the end, you can't tell no grown-ass person what, what to do. I mean, I mean, they just be crying with the rest of us if these sculptors quit, but I, but yeah. But I watched Serenity Smith's video, and she's right. I mean, it's not the sculptors that they are really hurting. Their fakes are hurting. It's hurting the, uh, as she said, the um, lower price artists, the ones that do want to be budget friendly and stuff. Because I see plenty of dolls for like, plenty of legit dolls for um, for like, for like two hundred dollars. Even I seen a few for like a hundred fit. I hope he his butt fit in this. I mean, I mean now, no, y'all need to be, y'all need to be be, be, be uh, realistic with your expectations, cause sometimes in these groups, man, I be seeing some people, and I know people got different budgets, and I'm glad that people want to su support authentic, but I guess, I guess some people need, a, I guess there's a sticker shock thing at first, because 150 dollars it is a lot for a doll, especially when you first get into the community, so it is a lot for a doll. But also, you're looking at these are like luxury items and stuff. It's not like it's kind of like coach purses. Where well, coach purses like a luxury purse, but then there's other purses like like the um, you know like off-brand purses that are cheaper. So, but you're paying for the luxury or the you know a, a luxury item. Reborns is kind of like the luxury. I am so you know store dolls. Oh lord, this barely fits on his butt. He got almost this is oh lord effy. But yeah. Oh Jesus. It probably could go to a three six month oh in that one. Oh my goodness. Chunky. But yeah. My goodness. Okay, he's cool. Oh, Lord, pulling those pants up on you, boy. Dang. So, yeah. I like Abby, but, yeah, people just need to get over that kind of sticker shock. Cause, but I'm just going to be realistic. I mean, for, you know, under 300 350 I mean, expect... Maybe it's not as detailed if you're lucky, if it's perfect, then it's a bit flaws and stuff. I mean, I mean, it's not going to be prototype work, but yeah, so, but yeah, we really need to support each other because there's a lot of people picking and choosing, and I understand that people, you know, people like who they like and what they like. I'm not talking about just YouTube, but just overall. But thing is, I mean, there's just so much going against us right now. But yeah, I mean, especially, especially right now. But sure. Um. So, anyways, the you know my friend, she showed me on Macari. So I had this 16-inch full-body silicone cami. She said. 
know what? She's a little female um, Asian doll I had. Um, but yeah, she's a 60 inch with the full body silicone. So I saw, so someone, this is my first time that I got in my picture stolen. So yeah, it's a first for me. But no, it's not yay. It's annoying. But people, you know, um, this person was selling her for, I don't know, I do, you know. This person was selling her for, uh, trying not to have my face on, it's about too late. But this person was, who really did have her, who really did not have her, because I made sure that it was the person that I sold it to. And it was not the same name, last name, or nothing like that. And plus, why would the person pay, um, I'm just gonna say it was over a thousand dollars pay that much for the doll for just to be sold for that cheap but anyways okay you are not gonna unless it's like a flawed or a cheap kit or something like that let me say this the kit costs 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 over a thousand dollars that's for a blank kit so there so anyways that so it's, there was people even, I even seen names that I recognize in the community commenting on this, on this doll that, that this, that this guy scammer stole my pictures of. And I'm like, it's people in the community. And I'm like, you know what, how could some of these, you know what, some, I don't mean to talk about some people like this, but I, hopefully it comes out right. Some people could just be so cheap that. I mean, I, I'm not talking about people who aren't in the community because some people just don't know they aren't in the community. But I'm talking about people who actually know the price of these dolls. They are in the community and they know. Like I seen, there's a couple people that I know were established in the community and they were commenting like on it, like, "Oh, does it have a safety picture? Oh, she's cute. I'm interested." And I'm like. <laughs> No way, some of these people are just so cheap because no way, when I had her listed for her actual price, um, she was just sitting there and sitting there and sitting there and sitting there. Finally, someone bought her, but you know, it took her months and months. And these scammers, I mean, some people can be so cheap that they just overlook common sense. It's like, okay, like, okay, no. That is not how much it costs, and, and, and y'all know that. Y'all know it costs more. Some people are just being cheap, hoping to just get lucky, and then they end up being scammed. I was, I mean, I tried to report the listing, but a car is so stupid, and they never took down the listing. But I'm like, no way. In the end, I'm just like, no way. Oh well. Good thing about Macari is people can like can like get their money back. They do have better customer protection than uh, Reborns.com, where uh, if you um, like where if you pay friends and family off that site, you, you basically are screwed. They, I mean, ooh, I probably shouldn't say his name, but oh well, everyone knows his damn name. He'll just be like, oh well, good luck in making money. You know they could do. Oh well. Like no way. How about put up a guy on on a website or something on how to protect yourself? That website is so big and it's so big and I mean you gotta make all that darn money from those expensive ass subscriptions that all that I'm like, can he update his website with a big banner that says how to protect yourself? I mean, there is no cut of protection. They don't scan no one. And stuff anyone's butt can make a darn account on there and you know can make a darn account on there and the worst is that you know they just if they made a sale already they just gonna and ain't the doll he'll just ban their account but you know they already got their money and you screwed out all your money by the time that happens so at least McCarty got the real customer protection so does ebay i mean reborns.com is still the best website in the reborn community if you really want exposure to your reborns and want a variety of reborns and 
Macari and eBay evidently, they you try to search for a legit baby, they got all these stupid ass scam dolls there. And you know, at least for eBay, you ain't gonna waste your damn time going over 50 pages of scam dolls. And like, if a doll's for a hundred dollars on re on reborns.com, it is uh, authentic, it's most likely, unless the person's lying an authentic kit. But, so, you know, at least you don't have to do all that crap, filter past all that crap on Reborns.com, but, but, yeah, um, this shirt ain't coming with him either, because I love Cookie Monster, I'm just dressing him up, but, you know, he, he's on sale, and it was interesting, I take payment plans, I'll put his link in the description, he's also on eBay, so, you know, y'all got options. I mean, he is cute. I mean, y'all got options. He is real cute. I, I'm surprised he ain't sold yet. Hopefully, someone's tax money by him because he is cute. I'm hoping someone else sells, so I don't got to sell. Um, it's just me. I do space, but yeah. I mean, just one space, but yeah. Um, yeah. Um, what the heck was I talking about? But... Yeah, I mean, it's still a good site, but, you know, you need to protect yourself and pay PayPal goods and services, or just don't pay. If you, I know not everyone has PayPal and crap, but if y'all can handle it, get something that has some customer protection. Don't pay friends and families. I mean, y'all don't know these darn people. I mean, there's even been legit artists out there that just went a rogue over time, and I don't know, even the person ain't been work. I mean, crap happens. I mean, I I remember getting the custom from someone and and they stopped responding. Like they had all these reviews and something, they stopped responding and Etsy gave me gave me my money back. And then another person they had a health incident, they wasn't able to paint no more at all. And they stopped responding, period. And I felt bad about it, but you know, I you know, it's well, you know, sucks but yeah, I mean, things happen to people and everything like that. That's kind of why I don't know no more about getting these customs with a six-month wait and sending my darn kid over because something happens to someone that shit, you fucked. Um, Laura, I'm trying. Sorry, y'all. But that's just the truth. Uh, and, I, you know, there has been some stuff happening in the community where... I'm not saying no darn names, but people are standing up towards these artists that just give false timelines and take forever. And, you know, I'm glad that's finally, I mean, artists get away with a lot, especially popular artists. And people are still standing up for these popular artists that just get, and they get away with anything just because they have a certain name in the community. I'm glad that people are standing up towards some of these people, right? You know what? You told me six to eight weeks, and it's been six six months, and and, and I can't get a PayPal refund on no more stuff. And then you all nice to me before you took my money and my kit, but but now I mean, ever since I gave you my deposit, you don't have time for me. I'm glad people are taking a stand against that crap because because these artists get away with too much and the people who's who are like oh well give it her time or oh you no know, why are you doing that and stuff i'm like it's not like it's the first time or second time it's like the a million time like no people need to say something because you know these storm dogs are expensive and people playing and just just bullshitting to like to like get, get your money basically i mean shit. i mean yeah so, you know, that that's that, though. You know, I am glad, like, I don't care how your experience was. If this is my experience, and, like, some people are like, well, I had a good experience with this person. Like, okay, well, I don't care. I don't care. That is your experience. Okay, I really don't care. I hate when people do that. Well, when um when like my stuff comes all jacked up, oh well um well uh my dog came perfect or uh or my silicone kit came but I don't give a damn, okay I don't care how your shit came to you okay okay, oh I hate when people do that, 
I'm okay. I'm just, I'm okay. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just glad that people are taking a stand. And half these people that's like, oh, I don't do stuff. But they ain't bought from these artists. And they probably won't. Because, yeah, like, why you care? The person quit. They quit. I mean, it should have been paying people's orders. And stop getting time like they quit, they quit shit. But they better give back the money or quit after that they paint the, the doll. But anyways, I'm about to get off of here. This video probably going too long. So anyways, I'll do my dress. And I'm going to talk to you later.